Okay, so now we're going to manage about the privileges of the user, particularly sa part ng admin at saka ng manager. Kasi pagdating sa admin, basically all access siya. Then sa manager naman, of course, minimal lang yung mga privileges or mga pages na kaya, kaya niyang ma-access. Okay? So, ngayon, let's try to log in to our admin. Let me show you ano ba yung mga accessible pages niya. Okay. So, basically, um, dito, itong lahat ng menu na nasa sidebar natin, kaya tong ma-access ng admin. Pero, kung magkaroon na tayo ng manager account, if we try to log into our manager account, then yung may kita lang niya, dapat yung visitors account lang. Then, yung ibang menu, hindi niya makikita at dapat hindi niya ma-access. Although, sa URL niya, gawin. Okay? So, currently, meron tayong 3 user. We have 2 admin at saka isang manager. Ngayon, let's try to log in to our manager. Para ma-manage na natin yung um, changing of menu here. Okay? Depending on the role na meron siya. So, let me try to log out and log in to my manager account. Okay. So, ito na yung manager account. So, ngayon, um, we cannot easily identify kung what kind of account is this. Kasi wala namang naka-indicate. So, first thing na gagawin natin, maglalagay tayo na parang dito, side na to, sa upper right corner, maglalagay tayo ng pangalan at saka yung role ng user. Okay? So, let's go to our code. Look for the header ng admin. Ito. So, dito maglalagay tayo ng pangalan. So, let me try to copy this one. Um, and then, i yan nung kulang. Para hindi siya mag-work as a link talaga. So, sample name, lagay natin. Then, dapat yung isa, meron dito yung role. Sabi natin yung span sabi na admin so refresh natin to so dapat yon yun ang makikita pangalan ko at saka yung role ko so merong sinasabing badge pagdating sa bootstrap so let's try to grab that one um, nasa components yata badges ito so let me just try to copy which is it result nya ito yung result nya so copy ko to and palitan ko ito then should be admin just a sample one yan, so yun ang mangyayari once um, mag login tayo, kung ano yung pangalan natin, sa account natin then lalagay dito, and then kung anong role madi-display naman dito, so we can easily identify what kind of user yung currently login ano yung role ng user na yun okay so, ngayon, um, we have a means of accessing the data of our current profile because naka-specify naman dito. Okay? So, we can grab the profile variable and set it here. So, if you still remember, guys, we created before you create full name na function. So, we can utilize that one, which is it accept parameters, four parameters. First is the first name, second is the M name, the third will be the L name, and the fourth one is the suffix name or the X name. So, let's try that one. Save and refresh. Yon see manager. So let me provide a space more here. Just and B S P. Yan. And here I'm going to provide the role. The role is profile role. Refresh. 
Ah, oh, dah. Hindi ko pa siya na echo. Yan. So manager. So I want the M should be capital. So I will use yung function na UC first. UC first. Yan. This is a function of PHP. It will capitalize the first letter. Okay. So we already have the name here and we already have the role here. So we can easily identify now what role is um currently log in or ano yung role ng user na naka naka log in currently so basically it is manager ngayon since manager dapat hindi to makikita na menu na user so since we have this role we can able to provide some if statement If role is equals to what? It should be equals to admin. Kung equals to admin yung role, then that's the only time na magde-display. Pero kung hindi siya equals to admin, then we're going to hide this particular menu. Okay? Refresh. Save. Refresh. Yan. Nakatago na. Pero, what if I try to access that one? So, users list. It's still accessible, right? Even, let me have the new tab for edit. Okay? So, nag-work pa rin yung functionality na to, although hidden na siya, which is hindi dapat. So, let's try to fix that one. Let's go to our I mean this part and let's try to check dito so we have the profile we can check as well same process if um yung role ano ba yung role if the role is equals to manager or let's say not equal to admin Kung hindi equal to admin yung role niya, then yung gusto kong mangyari, i-redirect siya, pabalik sa visitors list. Kasi that is the common um, page sa part ng user, admin at saka manager. So, visitors list. So, let's try that one. If we try to refresh this one, it should redirect back to the visitors list. Yan. Okay? So, dito, accessible pa rin. So, we may also need to work on that one. So, let's copy this one. Even this one, so deactivated of users. Then, sa add user. Ganun rin. Then, ganon din sa dito. Edit user. Also, deactivate user. As well as with the reactivate user. Okay, so yung kaya niya lang ma-access should be um, yung visitor's account. So, let's try this one to refresh. Yun, bumabalik na siya sa visitor's account or yung mga list. So, yung kaya niya lang ma-access is yung deactivate user, reactivate user, oh, I mean visitor, and then yung deactivated list of visitors and the active list of the visitors. Okay, so that's how we can manage um, yung, basically yung feature of security sa part ng mga pages. So, ano ba yung kinaganda dito that we can check yung ganun? Let's say, um, let's try to log in to incognito an admin account. Okay, so ito yung admin. Ngayon, 
Kung babalik tayo doon sa manager account, what if I try to change the role of the um, meron pa pala mga kailangan natin i-fix. I-change natin this one to admin. And also the name para magkaroon ng changes. Sabihin natin ganun. And refresh tayo dito. So yun. Marami na yung menu niya. Na change na yung pangalan. At saka yung role dito is naging admin na. Okay? Ito pa. What if we try to deactivate the user? What will happen? Kung deactivate ko to as admin naman ako. Okay, deactivated na siya. What will happen to this one? Hmm. Dapat na log out na siya kasi deactivated na yung account niya. Although manager siya. How oh, I mean admin. Inag nilog out siya ng isang admin. So, we need to fix that one. So, if you still remember sa ating visitors portal, we have something that checks here. This one. If active pa ba yung isang user. So, we can use it as well on this part. So, if the user is still active, then okay. But if not, because of this not operator, then we're going to log out that account. Okay, let's do that. Let's try to refresh this one refresh you on okay so we already fixed the uh, that particular um bug for this our security that we're trying to provide okay so let's put back the reactivate the deactivated user and um let's change the role into manager okay then log in tayo ulit. Oh wait, um let me try to deactivate again and try if I can able to log in using the manager account. So sorry unknown account. So let me try to reactivate again. Again, let's try. So, yun. Okay? So, working na yung um, feature natin for the part of the security and managing the privileges of our accounts for a specific role depending kung ano yung role ng current user. Okay? So, I think that's it.